Hello everyone and welcome to uh, the video tutorial on adding vectors graphically. So uh, to start us off we're going to do a little bit of review on vectors and actually what they are and what they describe. So um, in physics a lot of quantities can be described with uh, singular quantity numbers i.e. Uh, time is uh, denoted a lot by just seconds, you know, like seven seconds. It's a singular number, and that's all the information you need about time. Um, distance is another one of these quantities. Um, mass is another example. Okay, all of these are called scalar quantities. Okay, meaning you only need the magnitude to describe these quantities. Okay? Now, a lot of uh, physical quantities need both a magnitude, but they also need a direction. Okay? Where they are going. These type of quantities are called vector quantities. Okay? An example of this would be um, force. Okay? We all know that force is pushing or pulling, but you not only need to know how much pushing or pulling, but also in what direction you are pushing and pulling. Okay? Vector quantities, scalar quantities. A uh, good example of this uh, is speed. When you think of speed, speed tells you how fast you are going. Okay? No direction is given. It's just how fast you are going. Velocity, however, is not only how fast, but in what direction. Velocity is a vector quantity. Okay? Differences between. One contains magnitude, one contains both magnitude and direction. So, the uh, simplest vector quantity is going to be displacement. Okay? Displacement is not to be confused with distance. So let's say you've got a point here and you are going to displace it to here. Okay? Let's call this uh, P1 and this is P2. Well, the displacement is the vector quantity, let's call it A. Okay? So that might differ from the distance I travel. Say my distance is, um, I'm going to go this way and then come around and then end up here. Okay? My displacement is one quantity. My distance, however, is path de dependent. Displacement is not path dependent. Okay? So, that's just one example of a type of vector. Now, some uh, quick rules with vectors so rules uh, let's go with rule one uh, two vectors with identical magnitude and direction are equal. Okay? No matter where they are in space, okay, I could have a vector over here and I could have another vector over here. I drew those as close to the same direction as possible. But if you look, their magnitudes are the same and their directions are the same. These two vectors are said to be equal, no matter where they are. Okay? So, Rule two will go with um, 
negative of a vector. So negative of a vector is the same magnitude but opposite direction. Okay, so I've got a vector here. It's negative would have the same magnitude but the opposite direction. So let's call this first vector vector a. This vector would be negative vector a. Okay? So, moving on, let's go to uh, vector addition. So, adding vectors. It looks like these. There we go. So, adding vectors. How we're going to go over it today uh, will be uh, graphically adding vectors. So, let's jump over and looky here. So, we've got two vectors here. We'll call this one, the red one, we'll call it vector A, and we're going to add vector B to it. Okay. So what you can do is you can do what's known as the head to tail method, okay? So say we are doing this operation. We are adding vector A to vector B, and that equals what? So vector A is our first vector. So here's vector A. You take the head of vector A, so the head is down here. And you attach it to the tail of vector B. Okay? Then you draw the resultant vector, or what's known as the vector sum, and you can go from the uh, tail of vector A to the head point of vector B. So this blue vector here would be the resultant, or it's also called the vector sum. So we can call that vector C. So again, this is known as the head to tail method. So you go the head of your first vector to the tail of the second vector, and you connect the starting point to the end point. Okay? Now, adding vectors is a commutative property or behaves commutatively. So, what if I went B plus A? Well, let's look at that. If I go B plus A, I'm going to take the head of B and put it at the tail of A, and my resultant vector should be the same. Wabam. See how vector C, I didn't change it at all. It's exactly the same. So, adding vectors is commutative. Okay? Now, let's say you have to add more than one vector. Okay, so let's look at vector A again, vector B. Let's look at vector, let's call this a new purple vector, let's call this vector C. Okay, so I've got a new scenario. I've got vector A plus vector B plus vector C. So I'm going to take vector A. A couple ways you can do this. I can add the first two. So vector A plus vector B. Well, we already know what that is. Let's bring that back over here. And I can draw the resultant of that. That takes care of vector A and vector B. Now I can add this resultant vector, or this in-between vector, to vector C. So I'll go the head of this vector to the tail of this vector and connect. And I end up with that. Okay? So I can do the head-to-tail method, in a sense, twice. But there's also another way I can do this. 
Let's get vector A and vector B back over here. What if I went vector A plus vector B plus again vector C? I can go from the start point here to the head point here and just kind of skip the intermediary. And it should be equal. Boom. It is. Okay? So, whatever you prefer, you can go head to tail, get rid of the first two vectors, and then add that to the remaining vector. Or you can do what we just did, connect all of the vectors and draw the resultant. Your choice. Now, last thing we're going to cover. Subtracting vectors. So, let's say I need to take vector A and I need to subtract vector B. Okay? How I'm going to do that is use what I know about negative vectors. Okay? I'm going to turn this into an addition problem. and take what I know about negative vectors, same magnitude but opposite direction, and I'm going to add vector A to negative vector B. Okay? So, that is adding and subtracting vectors. I want you to do and bring to class tomorrow a quick little uh, problem. So, let's say we've got vector A and it has a magnitude of, uh, let's go with 7 centimeters, and its angle is 45 degrees. Uh, vector B, B has a magnitude of 2 centimeters, and it has an angle of, oh, 180. And let's go a last vector, vector C, it has a magnitude of 8, yeah, 8 centimeters. And let's go with its angle as 270 degrees. So, draw this to scale as best you can. Uh, I would highly recommend using graph paper. And uh, I want you to complete this operation. Vector A plus vector B minus vector C. And I want to know what that is. So bring that in class tomorrow. And I hope you have enjoyed learning all you care to know about vectors and adding them graphically.